Howdy! My name is Sabrashalini and I'm here to explain how to represent a number in IEEE 754 32-bit floating point notation. I'm going to consider the following number for an example 263.3. Now the first step that goes into this is to convert the following number into its binary form. We, we know how to convert 263 to binary form. It's very simple and we have learned that before. You just keep dividing it by 2 and keep track of the remainder. So in this case it will be 131. The remainder is 1 divided by 2 again. It's 65. Remainder is 1 divided by 2. You get 32. Remainder is 1. You get 16, remainder is 0. This is the last step where you get a 0 in this column, and this is where it stops. So 263 in binary form are just the remainder bits in this order. So 263 in binary form is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. Now we have to convert 0.3 to binary representation and this entails a different procedure. So in this case you start multiplying by 2 to the digit after the decimal point. So 0.3 you multiply by 2, you get 0.6. Now, you have to keep track of the digit that precedes the decimal point in this column. So in this case, it's 0. Let's keep track of the 0. Now, take this over the next step. That's 0 0.6 times 2, and you get 1.2. Keep track of this digit. That is 1. Instead of doing 1.2 times 2 for the next step, you just take the digit that follows the decimal point along with the decimal point. So that will be 0.2 times 2, and you get 0 0.4, this digit 0, then 0.4 times 2, you get 0.8, keep track of this digit, that's 0, and then 0.8 times 2 gives you 1.6. Keep track of this digit, that's 1. So I'm doing 1.6 times 2, it will be 0.6 times 2, and it will be 1.2. Keep track of this digit, 1. Now you can observe that this step is essentially this step. So you know after 0.6, you would again follow with these steps and then it would loop again. So instead of doing everything writing, you can just assume it's going to go back to that step. And so this column would be 0011 goes back again. So it would be 0011 so forth. So point 3 in binary representation would be 011 Zero zero one one zero zero one one zero zero one one so forth. So the first step was for us to represent two sixty three point three in binary form, and that is one zero 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 one 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 point. 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, so forth. Now the second step would be to represent the binary form in scientific notation. So in this case, you need to shift the decimal point to the left till it reaches this point. So we will be shifting it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 times. So for each shift to the left, you need to multiply the number by 2. We're shifting it 8 times to the left. So in this case, we will be multiplying it by 
to 8 times, that is 2 to the 8. So in writing, that would be 1.00000111, so forth, times 2 to the 8th. This is the scientific form. Now the third and final step would be writing this in the IEEE 754 format. So the format suggests that the first bit should be the sign bit. So let me just write it in X's to make it clear. So the first bit would be the sign bit and protocol says that if the number being considered is a negative number the sign bit would be assigned as 1 and if it's a positive number it will be assigned as 0. So since 263.3 is a positive number in this case our sign bit would be 0. The next 8 bits of the rep representation are the exponential bits that is the exponent of 2 in the scientific notation. Now we need to take care of the bias because the in the 754 representation the exponents has to cover negative and positive numbers and so they have given a certain number as the bias value and the exponent bias for a single precision number is 127. So if you have a negative number here, you subtract it from the bias. And since this is a positive number, you add to the bias. So our exponent bits in this case would be 127 plus 8. And that is 135. Yep. And this is in decimal form. So when you convert it into binary notation using the steps that I've already shown you how to, you'd get 10000111. And these are the fraction bits. So we have we will have 23 fraction bits. And that is essentially the bits that follows the decimal point in the scientific notation. This is also known as the mantissa. So the fraction bits in this case would be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, so forth. So the final IEEE representation goes as follows. So it's just combine all these bits together you'll get the answer so it's 0 1 0 0 that's the first four then 0 0 1 1 that's the next four 1 0 0 0 combine these four I'm just separating into four to make it more convenient for us to observe 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 because this goes on so 4 8 12 16 we have 32 bits over here and this is the final representation of 263.3 i hope this was helpful thank you